Good evening guys, welcome to Bitcoin Bounce uh, and this is uh, my evening signal session and so today I got a, quite a few sig uh, signals for you uh, so yesterday I called a sell-off on Ethereum and I, I must say I'm so happy when I turned on my computer and I saw that Ethereum went way down exactly where I said it would go uh, so that's quite exciting for me uh, so but today I think uh, the market is going to stabilize and then it might go up a little bit again so i want to show you here my charts okay so when uh, we look at this uh, bitcoin chart uh, what's interesting about the bitcoin is the bitcoin didn't actually at all move much now like i told you yesterday uh, bitcoin is now at in a twenty three thousand dollar range it's from there it's going to go to 25 then 28 and then 33 let's move this out of the way so it's kind of like the the bitcoin ladder that we're moving up right now and so i expect a uh, bitcoin and that's what i also said to you yesterday i expect a, a sideways movement of bitcoin here and then going up to uh, the 25 and then to pull back all the way uh, to this 22 level okay so now uh, what i think uh, a good trade would be uh, is to better buy in a bitcoin and do uh, a 1 to 4 ratio with 2% uh, stop loss and an 8% uh, take profit. Bitcoin is in a perfect position. It's quite a small stop loss. Uh, and uh, the way to the upside is, is quite clear here. And you can easily just open this up a little bit. Let's bring that stop loss up a little bit. Okay. That's how we can get this uh, 1 to 4 ratio on our profit reward. So uh, this is an excellent trading opportunity right here for you so this is this is my bitcoin trade for the day uh, and i really hope it pays off uh, then uh, on ethereum so remember yesterday i showed you uh, this little red candle and when that candle broke out i said okay i think uh, ethereum is going to fall pull back down to this 1500 level and it hit it like pretty much right on the on the line right there where it just tapped that 1500 level uh, but I believe you can see uh, what uh, Ethereum has done. It bounced on that 15-night level there, it bounced there again, and now we had a proper bounce uh, to the upside again. So I think uh, a good transaction right now on Ethereum. I just wanted to bring my stop loss a little bit down so I can cover all of these lows. Uh, but I think with a, a 2 to 1 ratio, if we jump in right now and we buy Ethereum with maybe 3.5%, stop and then a 7.6% uh, uh, take profit uh, we can do about a 2.18 uh, stop loss to reward uh, ratio trade and we can still be within uh, those highs on that side so I think um, Ethereum is going to bounce you know like I said last time we got a, a higher low and then we got a little bit of a higher low so that definitely shows us that, that Ethereum you know, if, you, if you draw a trend line here can see yeah, you every time still have a higher low and then also with our eyes we had a high and then we had the higher high so my expectation uh, is definitely for ethereum to go and to break this previous high so we can kind of continue uh, this pattern over here okay so that's that's kind of what i'm thinking um and then we might possibly get another pullback again so but right now i think a, a buy in ethereum is in order Okay, so uh, the next uh, currency I wanted to look at is, is Matic. Now, yesterday I drew this line Matic. I haven't crossed yet, but now we have a close be below the line. Uh, but again, similar to Ethereum, uh, we have this. Uh, let me switch this this magnet off. Again, you have this situation with a low and then a higher low and a higher low. Um, okay, so we didn't quite have the higher. Let me just move this out of the way. You know we had a high over there and we didn't quite have that same high over there so that that's that's probably a, a reversing pattern uh, especially if you think about a double top uh, but just you know with the support going to the upside uh, i definitely think you know uh, we're actually going into a wedge so if i can just draw that wedge the wedge is going to sit here and then on the bottom side uh, on this side you know and so and and our take profit would definitely be uh, within that so what i think is going to happen i think but uh if um, matic is going to bounce to that line and then come back down and bounce up again come back down so my trade for it today is a buy right here where we are right now on matic 
uh, with two percent uh, uh, ratio, uh, with a three percent stop loss and a six percent uh, take profit, and I de definitely think uh, that is very doable right now. Okay, so let's go to uh, Cardano. Okay, so Cardano, same story. Um, we were above the trend line. Now we had a break on the trend line. Now uh, this area where Cardano is sitting right now. Okay. Uh, that used to be a, a very strong resistance level uh, and then uh, Cardano broke through and now it's catching support and this is actually a textbook buy signal so you know um, it went up it got resistance it came down again back on support it broke through uh, the the uh, support line uh, the trend of uh, the resistance line and then it's finding support right now and now it's going to go to the upside. And so that's why uh, I again put my uh, stop loss. Let me just, uh, get that information to you. I put my stop loss just below uh, that week uh, at 3.3%. And then we can go for uh, yeah at 7.58% uh, uh, take profit. Uh, still within the high there. You know, if it wants to make a double top, we can still cash out with a 7.5% take profit. So it's about a 2.3% profit uh, to loss reward uh, which is very very good okay so that's my Cardano trade and I actually feel very very strong about this trade uh, then next we got XRP okay now on XRP uh, we had uh, all of these uh, supports hitting there one two three times but every time we had a higher high uh, and so that also uh, tells us we have a you know up run down up down uh, and now we're going to go up for our next leg uh, to the upside. Uh, but what I did, I put my stop loss just below uh, those lows. Uh, buy at the level that we are right now. And then try to still keep my take profit above that high. And so we can still fit in there 2.4 uh, profit to reward ratio. Uh, if you go for 2.56% uh, stop and a 6.6% target. Okay, so that's my... It's my XRP trade, and then finally on the AVAX. Um, so AVAX is, is going a little bit more uh, sideways, uh, but uh, again, what what we had, we didn't really catch our higher low. So we got a low, we got a higher low, and now we had another higher low, and then also on our highs, uh, you know, we we the high, and then a higher high. Uh, so again, you know, uh, this pattern that we see right here, you know, it's to the upside and then down, up, down. And so uh, the the expectation at that high is actually going to be superseded. But I put my track profit right at the top of that high. Uh, and here we can actually do um, a 2 to 1 uh, risk to reward ratio uh, with a 4.79 uh, stop loss and then a 9.58 take profit. Okay, and so that's uh, my trade for today for AVAX. And, and I really believe in all of these trades, there's actually a lot of potential uh, to the upside. Uh, we were waiting for that little pullback uh, and we, we we got that pullback when we saw that trend line and was broken. Then I knew, you know, all the other currencies is going to follow um, Ethereum, but then we had this bounce right there. You know, uh, what Bitcoin tells us, of course, Bitcoin didn't have that uh, pullback to the downside. That shows us uh, that there's still a lot of positive sentiment in the market. And so that's why I expect for the market to go to the upside. All right, well, thank you guys. That's all from me uh, for today. Uh, tomorrow morning, uh, Dion is going to be back with some more analysis and signals. Uh, and then remember, Friday, me and Dion are going to do a, a session together. We, we're going to do a recap for the week. Uh, let's see if these trades play out. Have a good evening.